back to Running Denver TV. I'm Melissa Mincic here with Chrissy Mayo, trail runner and author of Running Your First Ultra. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, this is fun. So tell us a little bit about your book. What inspired you to write it? What's it about? What should people look for if they want to read it? It's called Running Your First Ultra, mm -hmm. and I was approached by Page Street Publishing last mm -hmm. summer to mm -hmm. write the book. They find people that are like well-versed in what they're doing on the internet, and then they create books out of it. And mm -hmm. I just fell in love with the project and the idea. I've been coaching first-time ultra runners for about five years now, and mm -hmm. so I was pretty insistent on the first ultra type. Um, style of book. It turns out it actually has a lot of information that runners that are just getting into 10Ks, 5Ks, mm -hmm. marathons, mm -hmm. as well as people that have been running ultras for years. Mm -hmm. There's always something more we can learn and I just took the voice of talking to first time ultra runners because mm -hmm. that's where my passion lies. Great. Um, that's really interesting. I was thinking about asking you about that because the book is geared toward ultra runners but I was thinking I bet there's some things in there that could be applicable to people running shorter distances. So What's like a snippet or two of something that you think is universal to any distance? The biggest one I would say is the core training. I, as runners, we get so caught up in like the movement and moving and covering mileage and how many miles you ran this week. And I think there's a lot to be said for the counter mm -hmm. um, movements that we can do mm -hmm. to keep ourselves strong and healthy and not get injured so that we can keep running. So mm -hmm. core is a big one. And I preach consistency. Like I think it's really important. Mm -hmm. Even if you only have 20 minutes, like get out the door and get it done rather than oh, I'll just do it tomorrow, or oh, mm -hmm. I'll do a bigger run this weekend. Right. It's actually healthier to mm -hmm. keep your body moving daily than it is to weekend warrior it. <laughs> True, that's a good point. So we've kind of been noticing a trend with trail running to where it's been gaining a lot of popularity in the past couple of years, and it just seems to be everywhere in Denver on, this, on the show and also just kind of like more broadly. What do you think is kind of like fueling that? The popularity of trail running growing. I think everybody's got their own connection. For me, it was finding, well, trail running was when running finally felt like it came full circle, mm -hmm. where my two legs are able to take me in terms of being in the mountains and up high and getting vistas. Mm -hmm. That feeds me, where I put a lot of energy into being a runner. I'd run half marathons, and I ran for the University of Washington. Mm -hmm. and All of those things were part of, like, I identified myself as a runner, but when I found trail running, I felt like, this is sustainable. The community that and people that are interested in going to these places and the mm -hmm. beauty of what I'm able to see because I'm running, mm -hmm. that's when it seems like this is something I can do for a very long time. And I've been trail running for 16 years now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very long cool. distance stuff. Yeah. Very cool. So obviously you're very accomplished with some of the things you've done in the past. What's up next for you? I'm the race director of the Chuck and Nut 50K. Oh. And so this time of year... Now I added a book tour, but this time of year um, <laughs> is very focused on giving back to the sport and putting on that event. Mm -hmm. So that's March 19th, and then that's my Christmas. So most people like <laughs> kind of reset their year, Christmas, New Year's. That's my Christmas. So right. by April, I'll have a clue of what's next for me. Very cool. Very cool. Um, anything else you'd like to add? I think this event that we're doing tonight for Runner's Roost is, a, is super exciting. I love seeing women getting together and women growing in the sport. The next book I want to write is Running with Boys because I grew up in the sport running with mm -hmm. the dudes. So I'm really excited to see women's <laughs> events coming and women getting together and seeing what they can do when it comes to being out mm -hmm. in the wilderness and experiencing trail running. Great. Chrissy, thank you so much for joining us. It's so cool to have you on the show.